Hello friends and welcome to today's video where I am, um, I'm actually checking in on my sinking funds because I finally started back up doing those again. So I have no clue what my beginning amount was. I'm just gonna kind of, I guess, start this off as where I'm at for the end of July and then be able to maybe track better going forward if you are new to my channel. My name is Erin. I'm documenting my journey with my husband to uh, complete debt freedom and financial independence, but I am horrible about tracking things. So trying to get back into the swing of things. If you want to see how much I saved up or that we saved from our pay and from unspent money in July, stick around find out. Jumping into this, I do have some of my usual suspects here. My calculator, I will be using this in a bit, so I will set that off to the side. My two main savings binders, and then I do have my uh, sinking funds tracker um, on my iPad. Very happy to be able to use it again. I did pick up a new pencil stylus for my iPad after my dog ate my last one. So I've got two pages, one for what is in my black binder and one for the sinking funds that are in my white binder. And we'll just go ahead and jump right in, starting with the black binder. I had debated doing a um, bill exchange as well. But thinking about the number of binders that I have or the number of envelopes that I have, that would probably just take way too much time. So I'll split those into two videos and probably film the other one directly after this. So car regos. So I have $1,500 that is already in the bank. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 2000. 20, 40, 60, 80. So 2,080 dollars. And I make absolutely no apologies for the fact that I don't have the best penmanship on an iPad. Now this, Regis, we've been working on this for the entire year. I was just too lazy to go and look up where I started if I'm being 100% honest. Car maintenance, 70 dollars. Insurance gap, so the equivalent of a deductible, 600 is already in the bank and then another 50 sitting with it. So $650 is there. And again, this is another that we've had money sitting in the bank for a while. We're prioritizing trying to get this done. Kelly, this is my daily driver. This is for her servicing. She actually is going in this week. Uh, we have some money in the bank. It'll be combined with this. So I have 50, 70, 90, 110. Mathing. It never gets easier when you're on camera. If you know the struggle, put a calculator emoji or a math equation in the comments to let me know that you understand the feels of that. And I love math, I love numbers, but as soon as I'm being watched, I get really just off. Irish, this is so 20, 30, and $40 for her. And if you, you can watch any of my other videos for kind of descriptions about all of our different vehicles, they do all have their own unique names for different reasons. The Mockinghawk has 20, 40, and $50 in her. I suppose I should say in her envelope. She doesn't have $50 in her unless there's money hidden in her. In that case, I should go take that money. The Gutless Wonder. This is one of the motorcycles. It's actually mine. 20, 30, and $40 in the Gutless Wonder. And again, we'll be able to condense some of this. I'm not entirely positive that need a condensing, but I do have to take some money out of some things. The new wifey, also now known as the SB, she has 20, 30, 40 dollars. 
And some of you have been having a lot of fun guessing what her new name is that I gave to her. And I've spoken to quite a few people through uh, private messages and direct messages on Instagram. If you want to follow my journey on Instagram, by all means, feel free to. And you're kind of getting a kick out of the reason that I came up with that name. The appraisal has nothing. Home projects also has nothing, but we have finally decided what our next home project is going to be. Just need to get some other things taken care of first. And then home maintenance has $50, $75 in it. And just for the sake of keeping things a bit simple, we'll grab my calculator just because I love the sound of a mechanical calculator. I do have an affiliate link in the description, uh, one both for the US and then also for here in Australia, if you are looking to get one. So 2080 plus 70 plus 650 plus 110 plus 40, plus 50, 40, 40, and 75. So in that first half of the binder, we have 3,155 channeling my inner Taylor dollar dues. That takes care of the front half. Really the adulting, you must pay these part. So boring. Ugh. But some more fun stuff is actually in the back half of the black binder. And let's head there next. But starting off with camping, this is camping and wheeling. My husband and I are very much outdoors individuals. And we have one, two, three, and $400 that is set aside for some of our trips for next year, we always go to New South Wales. We also have some local stuff that we do. And we're planning, yeah, a few more. Just different things. Go out, see the world, see Australia, get off the beaten path, and just be at one with nature. I do have a tracker in the back there. And again, everything that I use in my videos, I make them myself. Some of them are listed online in my Etsy shop. That is linked below as well. Um, my Etsy shop is different from my channel name because I like making my life difficult. The He Survived Fund has $20 in it. I have been working on a few different things and getting some new trackers and such out but i'm going to discuss that in a future video coming up so when i go over my etsy income and such i'll reveal some of the new products that i have but i've got twenty dollars in luxury whereas my husband likes to call it aaron's really expensive stuff Medical, this is for vanity, basically. I should call it my vanity fund, but 20, 30, and $5 is in there. And I say I should call it my vanity fund because this covers some of my medical procedures such as Botox and fillers and such like that. I am not as young as I used to be. So I'll take all the help I can get. And we have our no nickets fund, which is for clothing. Sorry, children. Don't think about anybody being naked. $10 in there. That's also why I have a medical fund as well. Um, if you want to think about it that way, don't have that image. Uh, probably shouldn't have said that. Strike that. In the stupidity fund for my dogs. I love my dogs, I love my dogs, I love my dogs. And all of their quirks. We've got 20, 40, 60, 80, and $100 there. So some of these are fun funds and some of them are serious funds. I tend to not take everything overly serious uh, because I have to be serious about so many other things in my life. 
uh, subscriptions that I have. Uh, this is another one of those adulting things. People want to charge you for services. So 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, $75 is in. Yoink. Whoopsies. $75 is in the uh, subscription fund. The blank fund is for my next tattoo. Clearly I haven't made a label and I don't even have any money in it. My travel fund, which I have now dubbed my debt-free dad fund or my Marcus says so fund that is getting, uh, that has $20 in it. And that's only because Marcus always gets on and he's like, sis, you need to put money into that travel fund. So I do, and I always think of him, and I actually hear his voice uh, when I, when I, when I do that as well. And then the last one is uh, this is extra money to stuff. We don't count that one. It's going to go into a different on the loop, um, a different binder entirely. So totaling all of this up, four hundred plus twenty plus twenty plus. Lost my train of thought. 400 plus 20 plus 20. 20 100, 75, and 20, $680 is in that binder there. So clearly, fun has much less than adulting responsibilities. Isn't that the way life goes? But I do still have another fun-ish binder, and that is going to be the next one. Okay, so final binder is my white binder, and this basically has things like celebrations and such like that. Some savings challenges in the back, but I'm not really doing saving challenges right now. So anniversary has... 10, 15, 20, $25. And I know all of these were empty because I basically restarted all of our sinking funds all over again after taking a break and coming back. My birthday has 20, 30, 35, 40, $45. And again, I do have goals for all of these and I'm working on a few things in terms of tracking all of that as well. Um, in addition to uh, my dashboard, Gaz. Gaz is my husband, still. So his birthday, he has 20, 30, 35, 40, 45 dollars. And thank you everybody for your feedback on my last video about putting in the fives and tens that I save throughout the two weeks from spending and putting that into sinking funds. I think I will definitely be sticking with that. Peyton, this is our adult son. This is for his birthday. He's got $100 that are already in the bank. And then another, uh, so 200, 250, 300, 350, 400, and $20. So this one is almost complete. It has a $500 goal for that. His birthday is in October. So coming up pretty quick, but we want to get that one taken care of and then we can reallocate what we're putting in there elsewhere. Gifts. So these are gifts for friends and family. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty dollars. And I do believe everything is facing the same way, but it's not necessarily all in the same alphabetical order. Just can't be bothered right now. Um, I'm a bit anal about things, but I am not that anal about things. Easter. Easter has a lonely $5. That's enough for a chocolate bunny. Um, I might need to get a bit more. Father's Day. We're saving up for Father's Day 2023 and that has 5, 10, 15. It's so funny. 
I should put all of the BJ photos in Father's Day. That would actually technically be Valentine's Day. Again, sorry children. But $15 going there. Editing Aaron, uh, you should probably take that out. But Editing Aaron is probably going to leave it in because that's just how I talk sometimes. Mother's Day has five, ten, fifteen dollars in it as well. So you can definitely see where our priorities are. Um, they're really not for holidays and special days throughout the year. My husband and I have been together for over 20 years, so at this point we're just like, eh. Um, actually, we were kind of like that when we first, we weren't even kind of like that. We've always been like that. So wedding, this is for Wilma and Fred Jr. That's got 20, 30, 35, and $40 in it. Self-care, have I put anything in self-care yet? I have. I've got five, ten dollars there, which that does match with what my tracker says I should have. Probably should check that it's matching with my trackers. And then finally, I have Christmas with my wonderful Nightmare Before Christmas. So Jack Skellington, I uh, should have 40, 80, 120, 160, I should have $200 in here. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. That will be very, very helpful uh, for my cash condensing. So that is everything in the white binder. Go ahead and close her up and add everything together. Why my binders are her, I don't know. They just are. So we have 25 plus 45 plus 45 plus 420 plus 20 plus 5 plus 15 plus 15 plus 200 and that gives us $840 here. So I will go back over to kind of my main page and everything will get shifted over into my, um, good thing I have it on my screen in front of me, uh, 840 transposed some numbers there. If you're dyslexic, you probably understood it. That gives us 840 in the white binder, 680 in the back half of the black binder, and 3,155 for a total of, at the end of July, 4,675 dollars. That's not too bad. I'll take it. That's the nice because. thing about this system. I've been using the system and I've said multiple times, I've been using the system for a, a really long time. I'm like a dinosaur in terms of using this system. Um, the only thing that's changed is that we now have fancy clackety clackety calculators and iPads and we have, you know, binders to put things into. Um, but None of this matters. What matters is the habit of putting something aside, no matter what the amount, and that continuing to go towards your goals, be it a short term or a long term type goal. I did not, we did not start at this. In fact, if you watched a year ago, we put a heck of a lot more money away. We actually put less money into our sinking funds since becoming debt free because we've opted to put that into more experiences and into our investing. So you ebb and flow as you go throughout your, you know, your different stages of life. So do remember to not compare where you are at in your book. Don't compare your chapter to somebody else's chapter if they're not the exact same book, which they're not, even if you were twins with a person, you still would not have the exact same book and the exact same narrative. Follow your own path. That's the, probably the most important thing um, that you can remember. So as I said, links for anything are in the description box below. If I made a mistake, I'm sure you will let me know in the comments below. I don't mind you pointing out if I made a mistake. That's good constructive feedback and I'm happy to go back and fix things because sometimes my mind thinks I'm seeing one thing, but it actually ends up being that it's something completely different. 
I do hope wherever you are, you are staying safe, you are staying well, and you are staying blessed, and that you are feeling loved. Do remember to choose kindness, show gratitude, always keep a positive mindset. I will see you in the next video.